Hey, Maddie, who do you got? I like Geronimo. Yes. Hey, guy's player. an athlete. Good player. Big, good player. fast, good talented. Top of my list. Clean cut, good face. Yeah, good job. Five tools, guy. Good looking ball player. Can he hit? Yeah, he's got a beautiful swing, right, Barry? The ball explodes off his back. He throws the club head at the ball, and when he connects, it he drives it. It pops off the bat. You can hear it all over the ballpark. A lot of pop coming off the bat. It's effort. If he's a good hitter, why doesn't he hit good? He is a good hitter. Minor leaguer. He'll be, he'll be ready. Yeah, so he's going to be a good hitter when we put him up against big league guards. Could be a great hitter. I don't think so. This kid this needs some at-bats. As you give him 400 at-bats, he's going to get better. He can play. He's, he's hit everywhere along the line. It's one of our guys. Okay, let's move on. Artie, who do you like? I, I like Perez. He's uh, got a classic swing. He's real clean stroke. I don't know. Yeah. Can't hit the curveball. Well, there's some work to be done, I'll admit that. Yeah, but, there is. Uh, he's noticeable. Got an ugly girlfriend. What's that mean? Ugly girlfriend means no confidence. Okay. Oh, your... no, you guys are full of it. Artie is right. This guy's got an attitude. An attitude is good. I mean, he's the kind of guy who walks into a room. His dick has already been there for two minutes. Yeah, he passes the eye candy test. He's got the looks. He's ready to play the part. He just needs to get some playing time. I'm just saying. His girlfriend is a six at best. Look, if we're trying to replace the zombie, this guy could be it. I agree. Yes. Damn, Billy, was that a suggestion? Guys are just talking. Talking la 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 like this is business as usual. It's not. We're trying to solve the problem here, Billy. Not like this, you're not. You're not even looking at the problem. Well, we're very aware of the problem. I mean... Okay, good. What's the problem? Look, Billy. We all understand what the problem is. We have to okay, replace... Okay, good. What's the problem? The problem is we have to replace three key players in our nope. lineup. What's the problem? Same as it's ever been. We've got to replace these guys with what we have existing. No, nope. what's the problem, Barry? We need 38 home runs, 120 RBIs, and 47 doubles to replace. The problem we're trying to solve is that there are rich teams and there are poor teams. Then there's 50 feet of crap, and then there's us. It's an unfair game. And now we've been gutted. We're like organ donors for the rich. Boston's taking our kidneys. Yankees taking our heart. And you guys are sitting around talking the same old good body nonsense like we're selling jeans. Like we're looking for Fabio. We got to think differently. We are the last dog at the bowl. You see what happens to the runt of the litter? He dies. Billy, that's a very touching story and everything, but I think we're all very much aware of what we're facing here. You have a lot of experience and wisdom in this room. Now, you need to have a little bit of faith and let us do the job of replacing Giambi. Is there another first baseman like Giambi? No, not really. No. Not and if there was, could we afford him? No. No. Then what the fuck are you talking about, man? If we try to play like the Yankees in here, we will lose to the Yankees out there. Boy, that sounds like fortune cookie wisdom to me, Billy. No, that's just logic. Who's Fabio? It's a shortstop. It's a shortstop from Seattle. Yeah, this is no time to push the panic button. Billy, our scouts are going to find players. Our player development's going to develop them. We're going to teach them how to play Oakland A baseball. Billy, with all due respect, we've been doing this for a long time. Why don't you just let us be responsible for replacing Giambi with who we know that can play? Billy? Can we talk? Yeah. Yeah. You're unhappy, Grady. Why? <laughs> wow. May I speak candidly? Sure, go ahead. Major League Baseball and its fans, they're going to be more than happy to throw a you and Google Boy under the bus if you keep doing what you're doing here. You don't put a team together with a computer, Billy. No? No. Baseball isn't just numbers. It's not science. If it was, then anybody could do what we're doing, but they can't because they don't know what we know. They don't have our experience and they don't have our intuition. Okay. 
Billy, you got a kid in there that's got a degree in economics from Yale. You got a scout here with 29 years of baseball experience. Yeah, You're yeah. listening to the wrong one. Now, there are intangibles that only baseball people understand. You're discounting what scouts have done for 150 years, even yourself. Adapt or die. This is about you and your shit, isn't it? 20 years ago, some scout got it wrong. Whoa. Okay. Now you're going to declare war okay. on the whole system. You okay, okay, my turn. You don't have a crystal ball. You can't look at a kid and predict his future any more than I can. I've sat at those kitchen tables with you and listened to you tell those parents, when I know, I know. And when it comes to your son, I know. And you don't. You don't. Okay, I don't give a shit about friendship, this situation, or the past. Major League Baseball thinks the way I think. You're not gonna win. And I'll give you a nickel's worth of free advice. You're never gonna get another job when shot fires you after this catastrophic season you're about to set us all up for. And you're gonna have to explain to your kid while you're working at Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm not gonna fire you, Grady. Billy. Now I will. Good luck, Art. Yeah, it, but what Darren said, at five foot five, she's never gonna have a big serve. But but the one thing, just hearing it, the passion of Darren as a coach, but to hear somebody say, I'm gutted. You know, if you're satisfied that your player plays a good match and loses close, it, it, you know, something's wrong. You should be gutted. And she gave everything she had, and. She's always going to be at the mercy of somebody that's got bigger weapons. But there's fight, there's guile, there's a lot. And you always hope, and, you know, that's the coach in you that thinks that you can get them over the hurdle. Now, listen, I'm doing this job because I believe in her. I think she's got the abilities to win these majors and these big, these big matches. And she's a good person. First and foremost, so but she likes Metallica. So that, that has to be that. Very true. Very true. Place to be on me, this guy could be it. I agree. Yes.